I yes. Yeah. You don't see a lot of him these days. When uh, this is just a quick aside, when we were editing uh, ten years ago or so, uh, one of my films uh, at Duplass Brothers, uh, me and my editor Fisher, <laughs> we we were doing like twenty hour editing sessions trying to get this this film done, and somehow we, we we'd have to come up with stupid little ideas to like. For other films to kind of, if we do this, we if we nail this film, we can go make this film. Yeah. And, and somehow we got the idea to do a, because at the time, 2004, 2005-ish, romantic comedies, like crazy, like young 20-somethings, uh, romantic comedies were kind of, we, we'd go out and we'd watch the trailers for movies that were coming out, and we're like, all right, that seems like a big thing. What if you did like romantic comedy but one of like you know three girls and three guys and they're all trying to get through life. But what if one of them was the crib keeper? <laughs> so we had like this whole thing, this whole thing built out where it was like they're all at the bar like happy hour after work and they're all <laughs> hanging out and one of them's like, dudes, you know he's sitting there but but they don't act like he's like different. He's yeah. just one of the gang. <laughs> and then like there's a the whole thing where like he ended up like. Waking up in the morning, like after a one night stand, and he like called the other dudes, like, dudes, I went home with Lisa last night. And like, yeah, so what's the big deal? Like, she's she's laying next to me, and I I don't know what to do. And like, well, just get out of there, man. Like, but it's my house. It was like this whole, but it was it was just most ridiculous. uh, uh, and then, like later on, like but he was all he'd still use those crib keeper puns. Like, I asked her out for ice cream. <laughs> uh, Make no bones about it. It was it was, it was a horrible uh, idea. It, uh, it sounds that way. It was it was awful. <laughs> it was really funny at the time. Though. <laughs> it does sound that. We, had, we actually looked that. online to like we we're trying to acquire a crib keeper puppet to like do this. <laughs> Just him like a normal society. For some reason, I just get that, call me. I think my rubber broke. (laughs) I I don't know. Anyway. (laughs) 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 Tell me you wouldn't watch that movie. I would actually watch that movie. Like Lisa Kudrow, Ron Livingston, The Crypt Keeper. (laughs) I think we actually had a name. It was called Renties. I actually had a poster drawn of it. It was Renties. It was like, because they all, they, they were all 20 somethings and they're like, they're all renting their homes, but like, now they're ready to buy a place. Like, that's, they're ready for a new lease. Dot, dot, dot. On life. Uh. I want to get a place with Sally, but I'm just not ready. No, not doing no. anything for you, these Crypt Keeper jokes, huh? No. It went downhill. <laughs> I find it hilarious that he'd like wake up like get me out of here guys what do I do you've tickled my funny bones uh, sorry I think yeah. you need to bury this idea well, I did <laughs> I had forgot about it for a decade till tonight uh, no go not, not doing anything for you guys fair enough it won't be on project green light anytime soon Renties, copyright uh, 2015, Tuesday Night Cigar Club.